Welcome to the Fab Lab, a digital fabrication laboratory in Milan. Let's go back to speaking about programmable robotics and professional robotics in particular, because with this robot produced by IGUS and distributed by RS, we're dealing with a different robot from the one in the previous tutorial. The customers can put the robot together by themselves with great ease and speed. The other unique characteristic of this IGUS robot is the joint consisting of a stepper motor, an endless screw and a very particular gear exclusive to IGUS, made with a self-lubricating material that allows the robot to completely lower maintenance needs. This is essential for those who use these machines repeatedly. Now, I'll show you how quickly and easily you can build a robot like this. Here we go. Here we are. Now the mechanical part is done, the IGUS robot is completely assembled and I need to think about putting together the electronic part. I've actually already finished designing the electronic part and I'll show you. Here you can see a black box containing the Industrial Shields PLC, the open source PLC, already used in a previous project. You can find it on the web to see how it works. Naturally, to run the motors are used, as usual, stepper drivers and a power supply. Now all I have to do is connect the two parts. Let's proceed. And here we are. The last screw for the robot is screwed in. To recap, we have the mechanical and electronic parts that will drive the robot. Of course, we are still missing the third element, the intelligence, the software, the program through which we can give commands to move the robot. To do this, to put the software into the electronics, I call upon my faithful collaborator, Davide. Hi, you have to help me see, first of all, if we have put everything together all right, if the motors are right, if I wired them all well, and above all, if it works now. Let's do a little crash test before we go to the factory. Can you please move the first motor, the one at the base? Let's see if it works. There we go, perfect. Let's move the second one, the one that moves the arm. It seems like it's working. The third one that moves the forearms. Excellent. Lastly, the one that moves the final part of the robot. Great, the last one works too. Electronics, software and mechanics are aligned. This is a multi-purpose machine. It can be used for many applications. In our case, we have a specific need. We will go into a chemical factory where we have to deal with glassware. And so we have built an end arm kit using a 3D printer and laser cutter, a very delicate gripper that uses air suction to pick up the tubes and burettes very delicately. I will finish putting the robot together, then see you at the factory.